The programme is unique in that it allows the flexibility to meet new and emerging needs as they arise. In March of this year, with the onset of the war in Ukraine and the rapid influx of refugees into the county, SICAP came to the fore. This case study aims to showcase just a sample of some of our actions to support our Ukrainian refugees and some of the examples of how we worked very well with our collaborative partners. We held strategy meetings with the local authority. We reacted fast, we mobilised our teams, we redeployed our staff, we adapted actions and supports without losing focus on our main target groups. We helped identify where people were. We met contact, we reached out, relayed information to relevant agencies, we organised welcome events, we set up Viber Group for communication in Russian, English and Ukrainian, and we set about developing actions to meet needs of our refugees. In SICAP, we have a range of supports for job seekers. Once Ukrainians started to arrive, many wanted to work. We worked closely with the DEASP to help support them getting a PPS number and register as unemployed. We worked with new arrivals one-to-one -to, -one, to help them prepare their CVs and with interview skills. We adapted our supports to include interpreters and to provide information on how to get a job here in Ireland. English language was an issue for many, so we linked with the ETB and their supports. We provided work-based training such as Safe Pass and Manual Handling. We also provided intensive job search programme. We linked with local employers and the LAES to help identify local jobs. Since the Ukrainian people have arrived here in Sligo, we have run a huge variety of activities and camps and really our working partnerships have come to force uh, in ensuring that these are all huge successes. Some of the organisations and community groups that we've worked with are the Family Resource Centres, St Angela's College and local community groups. The main aim of the activities and camps that were run since they arrived was having a strong focus on positive mental health and also for the Ukrainian people to become familiar with their new community. As the resettlement advanced, people's need moved along a path and SICAP responded with much needed translation provision and through the employment of Ukrainian development workers to provide much needed support. What has been very beneficial for the HSE in providing the Ukraine response in Sligo is the partnership developed with SICAP, where we have been able to share information, participate in joint welcome events, and in addition, the HSE has provided funding to SICAP to employ an intercultural worker to support people in Sligo Town and County Sligo. The SICAP programme was able to respond quickly to a whole host of needs and to address gaps. Importantly, SICAP is flexible to change direction, to target those most vulnerable in a whole variety of areas. And that's what SICAP is all about. Sligo Food and Furniture Bank applied for a SICAP grant. And with this grant, we bought two fridge freezers. This allowed us to get more chill and frozen food goods from Food Cloud. Uh, we've had a huge increase in demand because of the war in Ukraine. We give out a minimum of 100 bags a week to Ukrainian individuals and families. We appreciate hugely SICAP and Sligo Leader for helping us to assist those who are under food stress. Our work with SICAP to support our Ukrainian refugees will continue into next year. We will continue to look at integration and health and well-being and continue to work with our partners on the Emergency Response Forum in trying to identify collaborative supports.